Okay, this is the Geeky Minecrafter beginning this, uh, today's live stream. Joining me today is Raven Dragon. Raven, say hello. Hi. So Raven is my granddaughter and we are on the Cherry Vanilla server. Um, that's the portal that I spawned in over from the, um, from the nether hub that was set up here on the server. Now we've begun mining. I've created a, a few little resources down here. But today's stream, we're just going to spend some time down in the mine, expanding things and getting things ready for guests. Um, I've made my mine available for other people to come and, and, uh, and mine down here. So, come on, Raven, let's go downstairs and get started mining. Now, I set up workstations B and C. Oh, your little body goes red when you jump. <laughs> okay, so this is the main mine shaft. Oh, you know what, Raven? I, I blocked this out already. Oh, it's coming on dark. So as soon as it's daylight, I have the shaft down at this end the skylight, I have it marked out on the ground. So I just need to dig it, um, dig it out. So what I thought I'd do, you know what, uh, it's, it's dark, we're going to mine for a minute, but I'm going to go ahead and get the glass we need. Well, you know what, never mind. It's, it's on the way out the door. Come on, let's go mining. I don't know what I'm doing. Here we go. Okay, so this is the south cut, which contains workstation C. This is the north cut which contains workstation B. This is the main part of the mine which contains workstation A. So I think I'm going to work down here on B. Where do you want to work? Um, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, okay, well, um, oh, somebody placed this wrong. These, these go all the way through and I do like to keep them locked out. Um, sometimes there are caverns down there and creatures escape and come into the mine and that's not cool. Oh, look at this. Peach is asking me. Peach, thank you for that. That's so sweet. Okay, so, um, Raven, have you gotten started? Yep. Are you going, are you going north? I don't think I have a, um, I don't have a channel down there, so you just cut as long as you need, and then move over, and then cut back, okay? And do keep three between, and since this is going away from the mine shaft, these will be on the right. Do you understand? Um, I because guess I'll be the one that connects to the end. Okay, yeah, and I don't, I don't think we have anything this far down. Um, now, they go this way. Here, you know what I need to do? I need to, um, hang on, guys. I need to open up my server map and put it in cave mode so I can see where we are. Okay, this is what Raven and I will be looking at. We, we have the map open. This is my mine currently. Now you see this is the main channel right across here, and this is the back part of the mine right here with our workstation. See it right here? Um, some of these channels down on this end are not cut all the way through. Uh, and this, it's hard to tell because of these little caverns right above me, uh, but I don't know that this goes all the way through. I think, I think this one, I think this is kind of our end. So we're pretty close. We have three or four slits we can cut uh, in between. And let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so Raven, if you want to take this one. Okay. I'll take the one right beside you. Okay, going away from the mine means putting it on the right-hand side. Okay, here we go. So, Raven. Tell me, what's the what's the most fun you've ever had in Minecraft? Um, hmm. What's your favorite thing to do? Mine. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's your most favorite thing to do is mine? 
Oh, I'm gonna love you spending time down here then. Because you mine it, put it in the chest, and I will use it to build stuff. Oh, here. Had to bring up the chat window so if somebody said something, I could see it. want to be able to reply. I was streaming last night, and Missy Moon came in and was talking to me, apparently for a few minutes before I noticed uh, she was in there talking to me. And I apologize for that, Missy. Uh, but it was a lot more fun to mine and to build stuff when, you know, I'm talking to somebody. By the way, at Raven, that's the episode that I got the zombie pigman killed me. Did you see it? Did you watch the video? Yeah, that's the one I, I saw this morning. <laughs> By this morning, I mean at like, I mean at like nine. Yeah, well, that's this morning. That was this morning. Okay. So, uh, I came out of the door this morning here on uh, the Cherry Vanilla server, and I look up at my portal, and there is a railroad track coming out of it. Uh, Dee Dee Does Gaming, one of my neighbors, has, uh, I guess, either purchased or received as a gift a couple of villagers so she can build a, a farm out of that and she was transporting them <laughs> over to her area oh yeah I don't know what that's about but I don't think it affects us so how far down are you? are you are you racing me? um if I was I'd lose why is your voice so low? cause I'm making it low <laughs> okay why? Lions. As I like your voice normally. You have a very pleasant voice. Cool. Come on, let me through here. You just missed the diamonds. Did I? Yeah. See, I know I knew you'd like it if I pointed you into the track. I have really good luck when it comes to choosing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how close are you? Pretty close to you. Oh, you really are. Race ya. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have a better pick. That doesn't seem fair. a little poke hole in there you'll know that you're getting close when you see the poke hole one of the things I really enjoy about playing on a multiplayer server is the community the interactiveness there are a lot of people on this server cherry vanilla by the way uh, cherryvanilla.org if you haven't uh, found this server uh, it is a whitelisted server. You will have to put in an application, uh, but they're pretty, you know, they're pretty tolerant. If you want to build, if you want to do some PvP, if you want, uh, you know, they, they just they offer a number of events. As a matter of fact, there's an event coming up. I'm really looking forward to. It's mm -hmm. called. That we just got back from. What? Mm -hmm. That we just got back from. Oh yeah, the storage wars. That that was kind of fun. Now we didn't win anything, but just like. The, the TV show, you know, there are players that come onto the world and they stay for a while and, and then they're done. And if they leave and they're gone more than 30 days and they don't, you know, they don't let anybody know, well, their stuff is confiscated and it's placed in a storage locker. And if they don't return within, you know, X number of days, it's auctioned off, just like, you know, in Storage Wars. So you can show up, you can bid on, you know, they, they, place everything in a storage locker. They uh, put some hints in the storage locker about what the contents are. Now everything's in chests. You can't see it, but they've placed a few hints around. 
uh, and then they open up the bidding, everybody bids, and, and uh, you know, if you win, you win everything that's in that storage locker. And everything they used to decorate in with yeah. the hints. Oh, I found diamonds. Let me get my silk touch out. <gasps> my silk touch is upstairs. Do you want to use mine? You have a silk touch? Yeah. Yeah, here I am. Here you go. Thanks. I'll give it right back. Um. Let me just get all the way around it, make sure we're not going to drop into lava. I can't speak. I can't hear you. Mute your mic. You have to what? Mute your mic. Okay, well, Raven <laughs> doesn't know how to mute her mic, apparently. I uh, apologize for the distraction. Raven is my granddaughter and not at my home. Obviously, she's at her own home, uh, which means, you know, <laughs> occasionally her parents come in and say, you know, you have to do stuff. So it sounds like she's had to wander away. Just keep mining. Oh goodness. Let's see, let's see if I can give this back to her. Good, she got it. Okay. Now that was uh, four diamond ore, but I picked it up with the silk touch, which means when I get back to the front of the mine, I can grab my fortune three pick, lay those blocks down, and hit them with that fortune three. Last night I laid down 11 diamond blocks, hit it with my fortune three, and walked away with 49. It was really sweet. Okay guys, I'm back. Sorry for the interruption. Yeah, we need to discuss uh, how to mute your mic in the future. Okay, can, can we practice that? Mm hmm Okay, so start talking and attempt to mute your mic. Um, Be talking. Blah, 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 blah. Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> oh, then it doesn't work. Um, so the mute is on the, oh, I think that worded, work, try it again, say something. Okay, yeah, I can't hear you if you're talking. That's good news. Okay. So you know how to mute it now? Yes. So in the event your parents come in or your brother comes in and he wants to harass you, please mute your mic when we're streaming, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, and thanks for the silk touch. I did I did give it back to you. Did you see that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I don't know about you, but I'm finding a lot of stuff already. I found a bunch of gravel. Uh what did you just kill? Nothing. Oh yeah, something just died. What do you mean? Like a zombie or something. I just heard him screaming. Did it? Did you maybe crush him under the gravel? Be careful. Maybe I didn't know. Yeah, I definitely heard him. You know what? I'm not going to fill it in. I'm just going to light it up. Um, yeah. I used to be really anal retentive, and I, and I kind of am, okay? If we were going to be staying in this world for any length of time, I would definitely uh, keep filling in the voids. But I happen to know that we're going to be leaving this world behind, like the first week in um, December. 
uh, we're moving to 1.9 and we're going to be uh, getting a new map, a brand new world. Uh, oh, I found more diamonds. Yes! And that's why we are mining a lot, because we need to make sure we have resources to carry over to the new server. Exactly. So how this is going to work, we're going to have one chest, one double chest each, that we can carry into the new map. So we're trying to, um, you know, gather up as much as we're going to need to be in that new map. Is there any chance I could borrow your silk touch again? Sure. You can let me get over to your channel. Okay. There you go. Oops. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, after this, I will make a quick run back to the base to, uh, to get mine. I normally am down here with it, but you know, I, I emptied my inventory so that I could go to Storage Wars and not, uh, you know, not have a full inventory. I wasn't sure if we were going to have to carry them back with us or not right, right, right away. So, I hear zombies. Oh my goodness. This wound up being a really large vein. Oh yeah, I have I have a total of 13 diamond blocks right now. Wow. I know we've only been in here. I I haven't even cut a corner of this channel. Okay, here. I'm sorry. Let me give you back your pick. Where are you? There you go. Thank you. Mhm. Mm okay, so I'm going to light. Uh huh. Anytime. Anytime. Well, uh, I'm not going to make you keep doing this. What I'm going to do, let's see, how far are we? Let me look at the map. Just one second. Put this over here. Where are we? Uh, we are about, uh, we're about a quarter of the way down, or two-thirds of the way down, I mean. So I think I'm going to, uh, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to get to the end because I've got some uh, resources at the other end. And I also have a spawn point down there or a teleportation point. So I can just jump quickly between the front and the back of the mine. And since I'm so close, I'm just going to save myself some running. Okay, Raven, so what is the biggest build that you're most proud of? Hmm. Well, not I haven't done it on PC, but on my PlayStation, I have made this ginormous hotel made out of blue glass oh, that and quartz. Awesome. Yeah. And then there's also a giant Steven Diamond armor statue. Oh, I remember you showing me that. That was very impressive. Now that is definitely a reason to be proud. Oh, I'm hungry. My little guy's getting hungry, and my workhorse pick is uh, starting to suffer some ill effects. Uh oh, gravel. How close are we? I can check the map real fast. Yeah, it's easier for you since I have I have three screens open in order to be able to broadcast. I'm sorry. Can I get comfortable? I adjusted my chair last night and apparently did not do a very good job. Okay. How close are we, my dear? Um, oh, get in my map. Um Sorry, it's taken. That's okay. Come on, hey. Hmm, that's weird.
Can't log in. I wish Minecraft. I, I know there's a way to set it where it's not full screen. But when you do, or, or at least when I do, my OpenGL errors are a lot more prevalent. So I find that I have to keep it in full screen mode in order for me not to suffer those, you know, those errors all the time. But if I didn't have it in full screen mode, I'd be able to switch easily back and forth between the map and Minecraft. And I, I would really like to be able to do that. now. Normally I have it on the second screen, so it's no big deal. I can see it as I'm moving if I have it zoomed out correctly. Oh, what did I just find? Okay, checking caves. And... Never mind, we're there. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, oh, you're like right there. Wow. I think this is, isn't this under the water pool at the other end? Yeah, it is. Yeah, so I, I we had to go around. See, this is a water pool right up here. So, oh, awesome. You're right by this desert. I'm right by a what? A desert. Really? Yep. Of course, you're underground. Whoa, there's this huge castle or uh -oh. arena looking uh -oh. thing. What? I, I just knocked a hole in the... There are a lot of cool stuff down here. Oh, come on. Wow. Oh, I'm underwater. I'm drowning here. <laughs> and did not know I was drowning. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, uh, do me a favor. You are getting ready to come out on the water. Okay. Okay, so I need to figure out a way to get up there and channel down to where you are. Let's make sure this is not the level it's not. Okay, that's one, two, three, four. So this is the channel. So let me start coming down to you right here. Yep, that'll, that'll, that's working. Can I do it? Yep. yep. I should leave this for you, huh? That would be the right thing to do. <laughs> yeah, we're on six. Um, what did you find? Gold. I'm going to leave it for you. Right here. See it? Oh, gold. Look what I found, Grandma. I found gold. Imagine that. So, one, two... Let's see, how deep is this? You know, we should just fill this in. I have enough cobblestone. Then we can just go right over it. I have enough stone. Lots and lots of stone. Oh, because you've been using your silk touch? Mm-hmm. Oh, she does not sound happy. Nope, that's my dog. She doesn't like when people's outside without her. <laughs> she thinks it's her right to be there, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we can just, you know, oops, not this channel. Good grief. Where am I? There we go. So this is your channel, right? Um, yeah, this is the one you were in. This is the one you pulled the gold out of. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Excuse me. Thank you. One, two, three. I'll be right back. Okay. Is this about your dog? Yes. Okay. Yep. Good answer. Oh. Okay, so now that it's not gonna rain on me here, I can I can cut through this. Oh, really? We still had some water. Apparently. 
Now, as you can see, that's bedrock right there. Uh, and typically, I go down until you know when I'm when I'm mining, I drill all the way down to bedrock, and then I come up one. Looks like maybe these were just filled in. Not, uh, not actually. F huh. Let's take a look at what the problem is here. Raven, when you filled these in, honey, did you, uh, here? I understand how I'm still getting... Am I not far enough over? <laughs> this is one of the reasons I like gravel. See, with gravel you could... Oh, here we go. See? Underground pool. See, do I have any gravel? I do. With gravel, and this is this is how I work with uh, lava too. You know, you just put it in and let it fall, and it'll fill in for you. It'll just find its place and fill in. I like that about gravel and sand. Sand works the same way. Okay, I'm back. She has Welcome back. been put outside with the family so she doesn't feel ne neglected. Okay, good. Family's important. Okay, I found some, uh, although we covered all this up, when I was digging down below, water came in on me. So I'm having to fill it in, you know, replace the water with... Oh, good grief. There's a lot of water in here. Replace all the water with gravel. Then I can dig it out. And we can replace it with uh, stone. And I know that seems like a lot of effort, but I use gravel, like I said, for um, dealing with lava. You know what's weird? What's that? Water is dangerous, but you use it to take down dangerous things like lava. It can be dangerous. You're, that's true. And I, I will tell you, I have a lot of trouble swimming in water. You know how when you're up on the top of something really, really tall and you put a water flow down? Mm -hmm. And how you can swim up that? Mm -hmm. Well, I drowned. <laughs> I, fre I frequently drowned. When, when all I have to do is, you know, be able to step out of the stream and breathe. The problem is, um, I, I, don't, I can't apparently control my little guy well enough to be able to step out and breathe. That's kind of funny. Well, yeah, it would be if I weren't drowning. I know, I don't have to put all these in because we are going to be cutting channels anyway. But, um, you know, I, I think I mentioned I'm anal retentive, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is the second level to the mine. And then down here is the first level. Oh, no, I'm wrong. Where'd it go? We're on level nine. Right. Uh, here we go. Here is the channel. Here is the, the cut. So now... Oh, there we go. So now, that should be... We should be back on six now, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. So this is what I was trying to do, was remarry this up to where it should be. But I, I kept coming down here and hitting water. You know, some of the streamers that I watch, they play music, uh, and I don't know how they how they have the rights to do that. I, I would like to know more about that. So, false symmetry, data list, you know, y you guys that uh, play music while you're streaming, reach out and let me know. How do I go about doing that? Is that is that a service I sign up for, or? Or do you have to pay the guy, the person that wrote the song? Well, they use a they have to use a service because they you know they're they're playing some of the same songs, but they're not 
you know, it's not like words. It's not like singing songs that you hear on the radio. It's it's something else. Okay. Like a tune? Yeah, kind of like a tune. <laughs> well, yeah, not quite like that, but okay. Okay, so I skipped over some... This one goes all the way through. One, two, three, four. So this one, you want to take this one back, right? One, two. And this one. So these are the two heading back. Now, uh, you can fill that in. That would be awesome. Right back here. Actually, I'm going to do this before I run up to the mine to get my silk touch. Because I'm going to offload what I don't use. Oh, don't. Don't use stone. Save the stone. Thing I have. Really? Oh, I'm using my silk touch. There's no saving. It's cobbles. It's... Same as cobblestone, pretty much. Okay. Oops. <laughs> pretty much. You're pretty funny. Oh! Blocked myself. Hit myself in the nose. Oh, my little random guy is just... He's just throwing things every which away. Okay, now I'm going to leave this step up to this area right up here, um, because we this will be a little place where we can get to the second level of the mine. I'll have several of those. So I'm going to bust down here and unload. Then I'm going to... Oh, my bad. Then I'm going to go get my silk touch. Okay, let's see. Get rid of this cobble. Oh my goodness, I'm out of space. Now, these are guest chests, which means these are unlocked. I remember I told you we're on a multiplayer server, uh, which means that when you set up a chest, it's automatically locked for you. Um, let's see, we're hanging on to the gravel. We're going to lay this down and use my silk touch. As soon as we get that, I'll put the redstone up here. Hey guys, I need to, I need to go, but, um, so I'll see you later. Look at me when you're talking. There we go. There you are. Oh, you know you're the Steve guy, right? Mm-hmm. You need to be Alex. Alex is the girl. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I don't know how to do that yet. Okay. Well, next time you're online, let me know, and uh, I'll help you with that. So, enjoyed mining with you, Raven. Thanks for playing. Yeah, thanks for inviting me. Always. Anytime. So, I'll see you next time. Happy okay. mining. Don't forget Skype. There we go. I won't. Okay, so here's my fortune pick, which I will uh, use to pick up both the diamonds and the uh, coal, just because, you know, you tend to get a little bit more. Here's the diamonds. Okay, so we have 13. Watch this. I love this part. Okay, my fortune three pick. Remember, I had 13 diamonds. And sometimes it's really, really good, and sometimes it's not so good. Uh, 13 became 20. That's That would be what I would consider on the low end. Um, I definitely have done much better. Now, I have just taken all my, um, all my diamonds upstairs and converted them to blocks all my gold upstairs and converted them to blocks and put them in my P.O. box uh, which you know if you know about uh, the server here you know that shortly we're going to be changing servers and uh, you can take what you have in your P.O. box and pretty much only what you have in your P.O. box so I've been converting everything to um, blocks and getting that ready okay so let's put the coal right up here we're going to take that up to the deal upstairs. Now, 
when I'm when I'm spending time down here doing a bunch of smelting, I will use these lava buckets. And I do keep normally I keep some uh, lava buckets in my inventory to use for that purpose. Now I am going to carry some stuff upstairs because I think I left my silk touch upstairs. Okay, we'll leave that. Uh, anyway, I believe it's upstairs. I've been working, uh, you know, doing a lot of mining, but storage wars came up, and I wasn't sure if I was going to need my inventory, so I spent a lot of time emptying all out before I left. And I think, um, where did I put it? Did I put it over here? No. This one? No. This one? Yeah, there we go. So there's my silk touch. There's my extra torches. See, my water bucket, I can't believe I was down in the mine without water or milk because those stinking spiders will bite you and then next thing you know, you know, you're dying. I apologize, I'm a little stuffy. Um, I definitely have had a little bit of a, a head cold. Let's just grab these. This, that's where that goes. Okay, so... Ch -ch -ch -ch. Let's put... Uh, where, where, oh where do I have that? There we go. So I'm getting ready to do an enchantment room over uh, on the base over there. And, and if, this is, if this is your first time with me, uh, you may not know, you know what's over there. I'll take you over there in just a second and show you. Let me just take the food out of the oven here. We don't want it to get too dry. Uh, I am a compulsive <laughs> food maker. I, I believe that you can never have too much food. Okay, I've got four diamonds for repairs. Okay, and these are my spares. Uh, I did die not long ago and learned a valuable lesson. Uh, don't carry all your good stuff with you at once uh, because you will, you will lose it. Let's see, armor I think is right here, yep. So spare arrow. Okay, I don't need the sign, and I can put the coal in the ovens here. Or put them in the chest for the oven. How about that? Okay, let's see what we have here. A couple more random blocks. I'm carrying a lot of torches. Tell you what, let's put a couple of those up. I really only need that many. Let's put these decorative blocks up. And is it here? No, nope, here? Yeah. Okay, so what was I telling you? The tower? See my tower? And uh, a friend brought a couple of cows through the nether portal. Uh, so I made this animal gate to get up into the stockyards, if you will. So I do keep a few animals over here. Uh, on this server, you're limited to 30 of any particular kind. So I come out here and I breed them, and then I make sure, you know, to, to knock them down. I, I try not to keep a whole bunch in here. But you need, you know, you need wool, you need carpet, you need leather. So I just sit out here, I feed them, and shear them, and bring the leather in, and just, you know, I've slowly, slowly been building up my reserves. So this is the entrance to the tower. I haven't done anything in here yet. I've just finished the tower. Uh, I'll take you up to the top, show you that. Okay, so this is this is kind of the main floor. Uh, now down there is wh what I'm going to call the, the castle entrance. There's a um, road that comes in that I'm going to marry up to a road that crosses that way. So the road that comes in to the gate here, and it's just a small gate. I, you know, there's nothing grandiose about this yet, uh, although I do have plans. Uh, but like I said, uh, those kind of got interrupted when they announced that we were going to be um, moving to a new server and we were going to lose everything that we built. Okay, so I'm, you know, I, I pretty much stopped building, and I'm just mining. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so I'll take you all the way up, show you the observation deck. It is pretty impressive. Let me 
set my render distance so you can see out quite a ways. Let's go. May take a moment for it to render. Now it's nighttime, so you can kind of see, you know, some of my neighbors by how lit up it is. In fact, uh, is that Wayward? Wait, Wayur? I'm not sure of his name, but he's he's building a um, a tower right over there. And by the way, sir, if you're listening, I apologize. I went over to go say hi to you. Couldn't find any way into the tower. Knocked a brick out to see inside, you know, to see if I could come in. And it fell in, and I didn't have any of those with me. So I apologize. I think I just put stone or, or cobble back. I messed up your pretty veneer. But I, I noticed when I went back over there, that you had filled it in. So I did want to apologize for that. That was me. Um, I have a neighbor on this side too, right over here. Uh, right on the, see this is my deck that comes out of the back side of this. And you can just see my neighbor peeking in right over there. And then I have another neighbor over here. This is Dee Dee Does Games right over here and she has once it renders, she has a um, a rainbow right over here, done out of wool. That's really pretty pretty impressive looking. Now, can you see that little square right there? That is the mine skylight. It goes all the way down to the mine, and it's one of the things that reduces mine fog. So when you're looking down that really long hall, you can you can see you know torches on the ground and markers and stuff like that. Well, I've got to do two more of those. One at workstation B, which is right about, you see that clearing right there? I've been clearing those trees out because it's it's right about over there. And then I'm going to do another one, you know, on the same level, right down on this side. Oh, sorry, no, on this side at workstation B. So, yep, got uh, got lots of work to do. The, the mine... Uh, skylights are really just to kind of help, you know, I'm, I'm opening up the um, world to guests, so I want them to be able to, you know, see from one end of the hall to the other, see where they're working, see where the workstations are, uh, so I definitely need that. Oh, here's where my enchant room is going to be. Okay, I've just kind of laid it out. I will do something on the walls here. I just, you know, just gathering the resources I need to build that. Now they have an enchant table that you can use down in the end. Uh, which is kind of an XP farm. There's the tower. There's my neighbor. There's my view. It's pretty impressive. So I, I hate to do it, but let's set the render distance down. Um, I've been suffering from some definite uh, video driver issues, so I really hate to strain it, you know, if I can avoid it. <clears throat> Okay, so got a chicken cooker right down here. That when I'm in the area, we'll be cooking chicken. Now, you know, you do have to be within about 40 blocks of it for it to work. Uh, you know, I, I don't know why they stop laying eggs or why they stop, you know, doing whatever they're doing when you're not near it, but that's the game mechanics. So, you know, if I'm in my base working and I'm within 40 blocks, uh, it, it's kicking off and cooking me chicken. Now I've been harvesting a lot of cows for their leather because I'm getting ready to do the enchant room, right? So I do, I, I do tend to eat a lot of the steak more frequently because it's, it's a better food source. I mean, you know, chicken only fills in, what is it, two, sometimes three of the meat sickles, but steak does three, sometimes four, pretty much every time. I heard a zombie. Did you hear him? Now, I went through here. <laughs> oh, there's a witch. Can I hit her from here? <gasps> Ready? I can. Oh, look at that. She died really easily. That must mean she doesn't have any potions on her. But is it is it worth looking? Come here, come here. Do I have any ender pearls on me? I do not. 
Are there any in this chest? Because I need to be able to get back up here, and I do have it protected. Um, you know, it's not something you can just run and jump on. Ender pearls are definitely the way to get up here. Oh, there's a creeper. Now he can get to me. If he only knew. <laughs> oh. Okay, so let's go. Let's grab some ender pearls. Let's go see if the witch left me anything. Now I know other people are big fans of, um, you know, big opening, sweeping staircases and, and like that. And I am too, but in the beginning, oh goodness, it's much more practical to have these these uh, st these ladders that just go, you know, where you want them to go. Now I will eventually, uh, not on this world because you know they're getting ready to do a server reset, but I will eventually. Okay, let's go see. Oh, I landed in the water? Goodness. Overthrew it. I do need a way up there. There we go. See, here they come. Oh, tell me I closed the gates. Uh, this is kind of a little rabbit warren back in here. It's part of the mountain. And I had initially thought... Well, I'll build in here. You know, I'll make sure that uh, I have all the rooms that I want. I'll put my farms inside, put my buildings inside. Uh, and I I would, except, you know, again, we're getting ready to move. I, I got to tell you, it's, it's, um, it's been real disruptive. It, it, it almost makes you not want to build. Well, it does make me not want to build because I'm going to lose it. go collect some XP come daylight get rid of the guy that's got range oh missed him oh yeah zombie not too dumb he's figured it out Now this guy can't get to me. There's no way over here, but he doesn't know that. It's getting ready to be daylight. Gotta go collect my goodies. Hey, creeper. Oh, I heard you. Where are you? Oh, right there. Don't knock me off. Okay. Whew. Just want to collect my goodies. It's coming on daylight. Is there anything else worth having out here? What is going on right over there? Is somebody tunneling in? Huh. What's happening? I might need to take a look at this. This is new. Where did that come from? Right under that wall. I didn't do that, so I don't know what's going on over there. I'm scared. I'm scared to jump down there. Do I have pearls? I have pearls. Uh, do I have my feather falling on? Yes. Okay. This is a little bit of a jump. That's not too bad. Let's just make sure we eat. 
look at him. He's... Here, come here. Yeah, you want some of this. That's right. Oh, looks like maybe somebody was looking for some coal. Is that what that looks like to you? Come on. This must have throwback on it, knockback on it. I just don't want them tunneling into the animal pens. Okay, let's see what I have. Do I have any dirt with me? No, just gravel. Oh, hello. Oh, goodness, right? Man, I threw that pearl far. Let me just make sure. Oh my goodness. Stupid creeper. Okay, I gotta go get some dirt. I gotta fill that in. Now one thing about the server, uh, the admin folks here, they, they do re request that if, you know, a creeper blows up, you fill the hole. If it knocks something out, you know, that belonged to somebody else and you're the reason it blew up, uh, fix it. You know, if you go to cut down a tree, cut it all down. Don't leave little hanging, you know, leaves up there. We're, the goal here is to keep a very clean and neat server. So, I do not have a problem with that. I will go uh, clean this up. Uh... Actually, probably this is the easiest way. Okay. Not a problem, stupid creepers. And by everybody doing, you know, what they're being asked to do, we wind up with a very neat world. I mean, it's it's naturally generated, it's terraformed, uh, and things look pretty good, you know? I am all about keeping the appearances up. Oops, a little too high. Because I did kind of level this out. Let's fill some of this in. Okay. Do I have any more dirt? I do. You know, part of me wants to pull that out. Maybe I'll just mark it and come back later. Let's see. Can I do this? Oh, man, them pearls are dangerous. Good grief. So I'm not sure where, here, I, I'll get the, sh the sh wool for peach. I may just take it to her at spawn. Right? That's what good neighbors would do. I will gather some up. Come here, honey. Thank you. Okay, put these up. It's probably, I should probably feed them, but I will meet Peach at spawn and uh, do this.
That's so sweet. Offered to pay me. So I'll just take my few little sheep. I'll breed them, get some big sheep, or little sheep. And then, we'll kill the big ones, because that's how we roll. We like to keep our population numbers down. So I will kill the ones I've already sheared. I had a couple babies there. It looks like one, two, three, four, five. So five adults die. There you go. Try to keep our population stable. There we go. Uh, where's my shears? Oh, I already put them up? Really? Did they break? Oh, there, there we go. There's the three. Okay, so we were going to show you what? what where were we going? <laughs> I got lost. So if you want, if you remember where I said, feel free to leave that in the chat. I will watch. Hi, Lun Lunity. Welcome. I'm uh, not sure I'm saying your name right. Let me put some of this raw meat up. Oh, I remember now. I came in here to get my silk touch because we were down there working in the mine. So I, I have uh, I have made a lot of improvements in the mine because I've opened it up to guests. Um, I let people, you know, from this server come into the world and uh, mine in my mind because it's very well organized. Where did I put the extra stone? Good grief. Okay, I guess it's going to be here. I am very well organized, and uh, people people like that about me. So I have my silk touch, yeah. I have my workhorse. I have some lapis and some diamonds over here. So I tell you what, let me go repair my pick. Let's do that. Let's go to the end. So they set up an XP farm here at Cherry Vanilla. <clears throat> uh, in the end, and as you can see, there are a bunch of Endermen. And uh, the hoppers must have been people. And their girls are bouncing out. So you can run your levels up here. Oh my goodness, he was outside the game. And then, you know, when you're ready, there's an enchant table and some anvils back here. And an ender pearl, which are an ender chest, which is where I keep the stuff I need to repair stuff. Let's go see. They'll let me repair my workhorse. Oh, not this is not where you repair snake. You're geeky good grief. So how many levels? Eight, nine, and I can live with that. This is my workhorse pick. This is the one I use for the majority of my mining. It's fast enough that I can wail through there pretty quick. Here, let's get. It's fast enough that I can uh, wail on the stone and get through, you know, mine really fast, but it's not so fast that I blow out five blocks and I've got lava flowing over me, which as you know anything, you know, lava begins to flow faster uh, the more that it's moving side by side. So uh, it will very quickly overrun you if you're not careful. So let me put my diamonds back, my lapis back. Oh, you know, I meant to give the, I'll do that next trip. I meant to give some to the community because in the beginning when I first got in here, I didn't have any lapis. So I was taking out of the community chest. You know, in fact, let's, let's just do that real fast. I'm sorry. Uh, I hate to leave it and then forget it. So let me put this back. I probably pulled 60 out over the course of the first, you know, couple of weeks. Uh, so let me just put that back. Oh, I should have jumped right to the mine because that's where I'm going to go work. So Raven was with me in here earlier and we were mining. We encountered a water cavern. We encountered 17 diamonds. I mean, we had a pretty good little run. We're working down here. This is workstation A. C is down there where the torches are on the floor on the left. And B is down this way. So I went this way first and then the other way. Uh, now, if you're just joining us, uh, Lunity, am I saying that right, Lunity? Um, 
let me show you my mine underground. Here we go. Okay, so this is that tower that you just saw, and this is my mine underground. And as you can see, very well organized, multiple workstations. This is one of the reasons that people want to come mine in my area. Uh, you know, I've, I, I've got pretty much everything they need uh, to go mine. And, and since the you know, the, the resources belong to the world. If they find it, they can they can keep it. In fact, I keep um, I keep three furnaces unlocked and two chests unlocked for guests. And then for Raven and I, we have the ones on the right side there are that are locked. So this one goes all the way through. There's one back here that I think goes all the way through. This one goes all the way through. This one doesn't. This one I think this is where I was working. So we'll we'll head down here. Now in the beginning, you know, as soon as I learned we were going to be moving, I began prioritizing. Um, oh, let's, hold on, let me get set up for lava. Okay, so I don't need this. This needs to be one, two, cobble, shovel. There we go. So these are the ones that I care about. The rest of this this will fill up. In fact, let me lay some of this stuff off before we get busy. Um, I can keep the... Yeah, I don't need the dirt. I am going to keep the... Keep that. I need one water. I, I don't need two water, so I'm going to put... Okay, I am going to keep two. I'm just wired that way. I really don't need my bow and arrow, but... You know, sure as I don't have it, I'll find a cavern and really, really need it. So I just want to open up enough inventory space that I have room to... Oh, goodness. I don't, uh, I don't have anything yet. I need to come down here and mine some. So this is my workhorse pick. And as you can see, boy, it just blows through it. I just look up, look down, walk forward, look up, look down, walk forward, and then throw a torch up just kind of get into a little mindless routine I get I blow through a strip in about 20 minutes uh, and it's you know it's quite a few blocks it's uh, I want to say 250 ish 250 300 blocks from one end of the mine to the other uh, from front to back and then from side to side we're probably at about 300 blocks and I'm growing it, you know, each time we get down to the end, I cut the front and back channels another three or four slits worth, and then, you know, cut the slits, and then cut three or four more at the front. So it just, it's just working for me, and like I said, people, people like the way they mine, so they come down here and mine. Okay, so, you're not saying anything. I can either assume you left or you got nothing to say. If you do, feel free to leave it in the chat. I will check in uh, from time to time. And then the other thing is I will probably just mine. Okay, you don't need to hear me chatter incessantly. Uh, I'll comment on stuff that I think is important. But this way, when I go back and I render this into a video, which I have a YouTube channel, I put... Um, I put both my live streams and my let's plays online on my YouTube channel and I'll go through and I'll cut it and I'll I'll add music and I'll do speed builds you know or jump jump cuts one or the other uh, because there's no point in just you know hearing all this so I'll hush now we'll put some music on if you're watching this in the video music should be playing now if you're not silence will reign
So I had an opportunity to join Daedalus 822's server. Uh, played that for a while last night. Well, I say for a while. Uh, I went to bed about 5 this morning, okay? Because uh, you know how it is when you first come into a Minecraft world. You've got nothing. You've got a set up. And, you know, I encountered some really great people that helped a lot. But, you know, there's still a lot to do. You've got to get your base of operations set up. You've got to find, you know, a place to live. And you've got to, you know, get down to bedrock. Because really, Minecraft, all about the mining. It doesn't matter what you want to do. You're going to need materials to do it with. Now, I did notice they had some really great-looking shops. Uh, some places down there where I assume could either be, you know, rented or purchase to have a shop. Uh, I didn't spend a lot of time in there because again, just start out, have no money, have no resources, nothing to trade for. So it's it's all about, you know, getting established initially. Um, now I, f I decided to look into this world when I came across a YouTube video done by Daedalus and uh, Venomous Witch. Now you guys are the funniest stuff ever. I uh, I laugh my tail off. Now, please apologize. I am a family-friendly channel, so there will be no swear words. But you guys had me rolling on the floor laughing. It was so funny. The repartee between you two was just so off the cuff. Now, it was a little bit, you know, parents don't <laughs> die. Don't let don't don't go over there. Don't <laughs> because it's a little risque, uh, and it may not be a concept that you want your kids hearing. Uh, but as an adult, oh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, we need all the gravel we can get. Here, I'm going to go ahead and pull all this. And just hope there's not lava on the other side about to flow down on me. I hear Mr. Zombie. him Hello. I hear him oh, this, this gravel was a major score oh huh okay one of the other channels good to know That means I'm pretty close to the, uh, there's a cavern above us, a really big cavern. There are spiders, there are zombies, there are skellies. Now I have it mostly blocked off, so they shouldn't be able to get to us. But, you know, he could have found a way around that I'm not aware of. So don't ever turn your back on those zombie noises. Does sound like he's right above me though. Yeah, right here at bedrock. That's enough, right? So it looks like that's the end of the mine. So where's my channel? Is this the one I'm cutting? Okay. Oh, I see cobblestone that I don't think I put there, which means there may be lava in this area. Beware. We have encountered more lava pools on this end of the mine than anywhere else, I swear. I, I probably have pulled out eight stacks of obsidian just converting the top layer and then graveling the rest so that I could keep mining. It is crazy how much lava is on this end. I wonder if I should tell them I'm live streaming from Cherry. What do you think? Just mention it. You know, some of these players, that's the only way I see what's going on, is if they create a video or 
they take me on a tour, or they stream. Oh yeah, what is this? Excuse me. This is somebody not being courteous about filling in their voids. So if you're a Chelly Vanilla person and you did this, uh, appreciate it if in the future you'd put it back. Where are we? Oh, we're pretty close. Yeah, Raven and I were just down here working. Uh, we filled in another one of these just uh, just a few minutes ago. Filled in the water so that we could uh, go through it instead of going around it or under it. Okay, let me find my channel. Here we go. Am I almost out, really? Oh, whew, no. <laughs> okay. Onward and upward. We're pretty close to the end. I know from peeking out there, we should be popping through any second. Another torch? I'd have sworn no. Come on. Really? Have I lost my mind? Oh, there we go. Yep, there we go. So we put my torch right here and block this in. Okay, there's another channel cut. One, two, three, four. So this is the one that's got to go back next. And I, I think, you know, <laughs> I think I'm going to call it right here. There's no reason uh, for you to sit through and watch watch me mine all this, unless you want to, in which case, you know, I will happily keep streaming. But, um, you know, there's only so much you can do in a mine. It's just mining. Now, I did encounter a lot of lava before, and that was always fun, watching me set myself on fire and jump around like a maniac. Uh, but otherwise, it, there's just no real fun <laughs> in watching me mine, right? So I'm going to pull these. One thing we have been doing is uh, kind of consolidating everything. Converting ore into ingots, converting uh, ingots into blocks. Um, and then taking and putting them in my P.O. box. Now my P.O. box is something that I'm going to be able to carry with me to the next world, right? Uh, let's put that in there. Let's take and put some of that up. Where'd it go? Okay, lapis. And I will, like I said, just convert all this into blocks. Uh, left click instead of right click and it'll evenly distribute across every square you choose. Now I know that may seem obvious to you longtime Minecrafters, uh, but it's something frankly I just discovered not that long ago. It was uh, until then a hidden feature uh, and I wish somebody had told me who had done a Let's Play series because it's something I definitely would have liked knowing. Okay, look, I have a little bit of extra gravel. We'll put that here. No, here? Where's gravel? Apparently it's here. Okay. Now, diorite is one of the things that I've been mining with. Okay, got 34 to put in. Six gold. That's not bad. So, you know, I've got another stack of, of iron. That's, you know, that's another, what, four blocks of, seven blocks of iron. That's pretty good. So 
So I'll carry this upstairs, this upstairs. Again, our goal is just to gather as many of the precious resources that we need as possible because you can only carry one double chest worth. So for right now, you know, we're kind of we're kind of organizing. We're kind of making sure that uh, we're going to get what we want uh, up there. Let's go ahead and convert uh, some of this gold. Okay, that's going to be like 14, 15 gold blocks. 16, nice. Ooh, maybe one more. 17, yep, cool. So I'll put this back in here, take 17 gold blocks and 53 redstone up to my P.O. box. Okay, and then I think what we'll do is uh, we'll call that, I'll bid you adieu, uh, just give you a quick little tour here of the cherry spawn. Uh, here's my P.O. box right here. Now, as you can see, my goal is to fill these up. These are, the, these are the things that I want to carry over with me. Now, I may have some coal. I may have some obsidian. Uh, I'll be carrying, uh, you know, some of my, like, workhorse pick and my silky touch. You know, things that I've spent a long time building up. I will probably carry over. And I may have to prioritize this. I may have to pull some things out uh, in order to carry some of the others. Um, we'll, as we get a little closer, I'll, I'll do that. Okay, so within the community, there is a global skelly farm. So if you come down here, there is a way for you to um, stand here and get some XP. You stand up on these pressure plates. And as long as you're standing there, this little block is close, see it close, and the skeletons that are spawning in will, if it's closed, will stop right here and you can whale on them. If it's not closed, it, they'll fall through to lava. And the drops that you get are down here. Okay, so there's bones, I mean, a lot of bones, a lot of arrows. In fact, I could use a couple stacks of arrows. I, I'm pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty free with the arrows. I, I let fly. I'm not not a great shot, but I let fly a lot. Uh, somebody didn't have room, <laughs> and and put some other stuff in. It looks like I will also take a couple stacks of bones. Uh, I do some growing now. Remember, Ender chests will open for you. They'll open for everyone, but they'll only contain your items in here. So, and they're all over the base. I love that. They're at the end. They're at the enchant area. So, I just, I love the Cherry Vanilla community. Uh, I love being able to jump quickly uh, between locations. You can have up to sen, uh, six, sorry. You can have up to six. What is this? In the middle of everywhere. <laughs> that wasn't there a minute ago. You can have up to six teleportation points couldn't think of the word. Uh, and you can just quickly run through by typing home and then wherever your your teleportation point is. Now I have uh, I have six set up. I have my AFK station. I have where I'm currently working, which right now is on the skylight. Um, I have uh, my main mine and then the inn for the XP farm and then the back side of the mine. Now I just have the two in the mine. Uh, but occasionally the one that I have for working is a slit that I'm working in if I have to jump really quickly. Now this was the site of the storage wars that I was telling you about earlier. So players who come on, uh, they stay in world, they gather up a bunch of resources, and then they go dormant. After 30 days, if they haven't notified staff, their stuff is collected and placed in a storage bin. Uh, after, I guess it's 30 days after that, or till the next storage wars, whichever comes first. They have until then to claim it or, or get reactive again. If they don't, they hold these storage ward auctions, and everybody comes in and gets to walk up and look inside the storage room, and there are hints inside. Now, you can't open a chest, but there are hints. Uh, there are decoration blocks that are used, you know, from 
kind of maybe the contents of the storage facilities and those are um, just to kind of give you an idea of what is going to be in there and then you bid on it and if you win you win everything that's in the chest here I just jumped right over that did you see that must have jump boost on I'm looking for okay there's the dragon egg there we go so here's the main part of cherry vanilla and then on top of here is the spawn point so when you first come in world I think you I think you land right here you're looking at this when you first come in so the peel boxes are behind you and the nether portal to the hub is back here so one of the first things I did was gather up some obsidian and stint and fleal, uh, steel and flint uh, I asked nicely and Dynominder was gracious enough to loan me 20 blocks and some uh, a way to ignite it then I came in here I wandered all around here there are a lot of bases and you know I didn't know where where would be a good place to go but I did find this tunnel and I, I liked that it was protected you know it, that doesn't mean a, a gassed blast can't get through but it looks you know chances are pretty pretty good and I saw this and I thought man who is this Eric guy he has really decorated this tunnel so I took a long run down this hill or this hall and uh, I eventually came to Eric's um, portal I popped through took a look around he has some amazing stuff going came back through and remember his decorations ended right here so I ran this way for a while remember eight blocks here I'm sorry one block here eight blocks in the future Oh, this is Dee Dee's place. So Dee Dee has a new place, and this is mine. So I have a new neighbor, and apparently some railroad tracks. <laughs> so somebody gave Dee Dee a villager or two, and I think she was bringing them, bringing them through. I think Eric is helping her build that. Oh, and don't mind this crude structure right here. I was trying to catch a zombie. Um, I had a zombie villager in here, and he kept trying to get me, so I thought, well, I'll make it easy for him. I'll build this. I'll stand right here, and when he comes up this little step I've given him, I'll block him in and then come around to the back and block him in, and I'll purify him. That was my plan, and then, and then move him wherever I needed him, but he didn't cooperate. So, okay, I don't think everybody's sleeping. Let's see. Yeah, there's too many people in here. Okay, so I think what we're going to do here, guys, I've enjoyed this stream. I hope you have too. Um, this is the Geeky Minecrafter signing out. Stay tuned. I will be streaming again probably tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then Wednesday. Uh, I'm trying to get a regular schedule. It's difficult when you've got, uh, when you're a caregiver, when you're taking care of somebody, it's pretty difficult. So I, I will try to be on uh, pretty regularly. I look forward to hearing from you. Leave your comments down below, and if you need to see something, I'll build it. I'll do it. I'll go there. So just let me know. Until we see each other again, happy mining.